What's up, y'all? Back with another video. Um, this morning at like five o'clock in the morning, I just got my ancestry 23 and me DNA test came in. I could not wait, and I opened it because I was going, I was falling asleep until you know I got. I know it's five o'clock in the morning. You're like, what do you fall asleep for? I fell asleep that late in the morning, but I'm so excited, and I'm here to share with you guys my results. I think it was pretty interesting. It wasn't really surprising, but you know, I'm just gonna get into the details with you guys. Alright, so as you guys see, um, this is my 23andMe DNA test. Um, I think it's pretty cool. Sub-Saharan African. 87.2%. Whoa, that's amazing, man. I finally know where I'm from. Okay, I'm just tired. I got sent. I'm from America, you know. I'm born in America. But, like, people are like, yo, where are you from? I don't know. Now I I could tell, I could literally pull this, get put, go, go in my pocket and pull this out and be like, bam, I'm 28.5% Nigerian. Wow, population, Nigeria's population is the largest in Africa and one of the most diverse with over 250 ethnic groups. The country, a red north, is home to people of mostly, uh, wow, this is pretty cool. 28.5%. Okay, the next one, 19.4%. Um, this includes Sierra Leone, Liberia, Cote d'Ivoire, and Ghana. Wow. Shoot. I got it going on. That's what I'm talking about. Man. Broadly West African for over a millennium before Europe colonization and slave trade with of course so basically this is like the slave area this is what i'm looking at the whole west side right here that's pretty much the slave area wow they went in saying this is what pretty much surprised me 9.2 percent european hold up hold up hold up mate now nah, let me chill out i got the wrong accent wow this ends up the celtic saxon and viking ancestry viking Scandinavia? Um, shoot, immigrants with two members. This is pretty cool, man. I recommend you guys do this. Shoot, French and German people descended from the ancient athlete. Western Europe, Northwestern Europe, poor to be people from a far west as Ireland and far north as Norway. Wow. These countries rim the North and the Baltic Seas and have been connected throughout much of history by those waters. Wow. Broadly South European. Uh, now this was what really shocked because I don't know about y'all, but if you black, you probably heard, you might be Native American. I heard my family, my great grandpa was, but I'm only 1.6%, so I, was, I can't be that Native American. But that's still pretty cool. That's still pretty cool. East Asian and Native American. Um, 1.6%. The first humans to reach the New World population, much of North, Central, and South America, within just a few thousand years following their arrival from Northeast Asia around 15,000 years ago, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool. Before people came over and just took their land, you know. But it's pretty cool. Indonesia, 0.7. Thai. What? Hey, Bali East and Native American. That's. That's pretty cool, man. And this is showing, like, basically, great grandparents that may have been. You are most likely to have a great grand, a grandparent, great grandparent, or a second great grandparent who was 100% Nigerian. This person was likely born between 1880 and 1940. I'll make this quick. Wow. Same thing. 1850 to 1910. Coastal West Africa. Native American. Wow. Second great grandparent, third great grandparent, fourth great grandparent, fifth great grandparent, hundred percent Native American. That was likely born between seventeen ninety and eighteen eighty. Wow, they went way back. And it goes all the way down. You guys get the point. So I need to get my parents tested, and that's pretty cool. But I actually showed this to my mom, and um. You know, the reason why I'm telling you guys to do this is because of this. I think it's, I think it's the health part. I'm gonna get to the rest later, but I'll make this video as quick as possible. You know, uh, fear of heights, no, nah, that's not it. It's the health. This is pretty cool to tell you the hair texture, likely straight or wavy, likely to have thick hair, which is true. 
Um, likely to have dark hair, you know, mosquito bites, newborn hair, red hair. All right. So this this right here is definitely worth the money. What got me right here, I think, is the health risk. No, it wasn't this one. It was the trade report. It wasn't that one, man. I can't even work my way around this phone. Was it a bonus? No. Carrier. Here we go. I can't really say this, um, but it's called Beta Thalassemia. Um, and related to hemoglobin fannies. I took I took uh, anatomy classes in school, but don't even know what this means. But I'm a carrier of this, which got me really interested. This is why my mom really wants to take this test. I'm about to get her tested. Probably, most likely, my, my, um, my dad. Get them tested because something like this, you know, um, is very good to know if you want to have a kid. And um, obviously, there's other, you know, types of, um, you got the cancer disease, all these. Cytobrosis is a big one. Well, not a big one, but it's not really, uh, you know, one of my cousins had this. And, you know, it was a trait. One of my second, third cousins had this. And um, the other different diseases, I recommend you guys do it. Obviously, for the um, to know what you are, but also to know... <clears throat> you know what you're a carrier of if you are a carrier which is good to know man because sickle cell all these things they can catch it in the beginning and know that you are a, tra a carrier of that you know yo, you can prevent a lot of problems and everything and obviously wellness support likely you know like toast and tolerance which is kind of weird because I like milk I, I just had some, some some ice cream yesterday but it says over time um, you your body begins to not really digest milk that well as you get older which I can definitely understand. I know people in my family over time, you know, they just, look at that, lactose intolerance increase with age. Bam, bingo. What else? Uh, let me go back to the regular screen. Oh, this right here, your DNA, I know people I've got um, 1014 DNA relatives ready to see me. I'm gonna have to get them a visit. Yo, that's pretty cool, man. This is where they're at. I'm, I live in Florida, so that's pretty cool. So I got literally 50 relatives in Florida right now. I can go see. All I got was stars, me amigos. Oh, me familiar. I got 75 in California, 65 in Texas. So mainly in, um, look like the southeastern areas where my family's at. I got a little bit on the, um, the western, you know, but shoot that's not bad i actually got some family in virginia that i know so shoot that's just uh wow percentage of dna relatives with ancestry 36 percent have the british well that's pretty cool british Irish. this is pretty cool well, and this right here really got me man maternity uh haplogroup so basically you can just call it like your mother but, uh, migration of your maternal line, pretty much, like your mother. This goes back 180,000 years ago. Got share the same mother. It's pretty cool. The band two expansion. I did a little bit of reading about this. It's pretty cool. Uh, people in the West Central Africa began um, implementing with culture. You know, yams, peppers. Uh, South African diet. This is pretty cool, man. Wow, this is some history lesson right here. And this is my Neanderthal. You can see Neanderthal ancestry. Um, not too crazy. You are in the first place out of your family and friends. Wow, 46 variant. Wow. Got almost none of this. I'm not even a Neanderthal. They say if you sneeze after eating chocolate, which I don't. Um, let's back here. Which I don't. Straight hair, which I don't. Dang, right on the dot. So it says over past 150. You guys can read all that. I don't feel like reading all that. So it looked like Europeans. So non African populations have a higher number of this trait. Sub Saharan African population have around. On average, 20. Wow. And I got like 46. Wait, did I say 46? 46. This is less than 100% of the 23 me customers. That's crazy. 
and this is my paternal I guess you could say father wow and this goes back 275 thousand years ago dang daddy been around for a long time look at my daddy look at my great grandpa it ain't band two expansion the same thing wow so I put two and two together yo this is ridiculous well that's pretty cool but yeah um, that's pretty much it guys. I just want to share that with you guys. I recommend you guys um, Learn more about, about this kind of stuff because now I know you know um, What to expect man if I was to have a kid if I was to you know uh, If I was to You know, um, you know, I don't even know just a lot of stuff in life man um, this can help me with and whether I want to have a kid, whether I want to grow my hair out. Oh, I might be going bald. I'm not just going to not grow my hair because I'm just might be going bald. But just good to know about this kind of stuff to inform your family. Now, I'm going to have like literally five of my family members probably taking this test. All because they see my results and, you know, now they can test their kids or whatever. And it's simple. It ain't a blood test. It's just spit. Now I'm going to actually take a blood test most likely to really confirm this just to make sure, you know, um, everything's cool or whatever. And yeah, so thanks for watching this video, guys. Go take this test. Uh, it's on Amazon, Twitter, and me. I'm not going to even put a link in the bottom. I might put a link in the bottom. I might not. I don't know. I don't know. What affiliate or whatever. But, you know, just mainly strictly to inform you. Yeah, guys, have a nice day. Thanks for watching this video. And adios. Buenos tardes.